hi y'all welcome back to my channel <laughs> today i'm in a little bit of a mood hair is down because i'm currently on my way to the beach we have stopped at this um discount shop or whatever to see if we can get like a beach towel or like a beach blanket because i feel like i want to lay out a little bit i have my oversized beach hat here that i've been so excited to wear with me so hopefully I get to put it on today i just put it on inside of the house and this thing is so big and i specifically bought it for like photo ops but like i want to wear it excuse me i went and did my laundry earlier this morning I'm kind of in a mood today honestly and i'm not even sure what the mood is this morning when i woke up i woke up at nine o'clock i set my alarm for nine o'clock and i woke up at 9 a.m and i felt so tired so drained and my head was hurting but i knew that i had to go do my laundry and so i went and did that went to a dentist appointment and then came back and like folded the laundry and now on the way to the beach so that's exciting i hope i really have like a pretty decent day at the beach and like my mood improves for the remainder of the afternoon it's i'm not in a bad mood or anything i'm just in a mood <laughs> maybe it's an aquarius thing honestly we be in and out of these moods so often it's it's there's so much wrong with it <laughs> but there there isn't really anything i can do to control it i always notice when i'm in these moods though and i make it very known like hey you know i'm at an eight or like a 10 today in terms of like my mood but like i'm still fine and like functional or whatever but yeah headed to the beach and that's all <laughs> absolutely dying to wear this little beach hat and you know we're going to the beach baby super excited i don't have no sunscreen so hopefully this you know, i've been absolutely dying to wear this little beach hat and you know we're going to the beach baby super excited i don't have no sunscreen so hopefully this keeps the sun off but today's beach Guys, y'all are able to see up in my nostrils and everything right now, but I'm literally at the beach sleeping, okay? At first, I was just here chilling, and then I realized that I was so tired, and I'm like, listen, I'm gonna sleep for a little bit. So this entire time, I've just been here sleeping, have not gone in the water, have no desire to go in the water, because the beach water here is not the cleanest, but I'm just out here sleeping. Finally leaving the beach. I'll just come back, like, later, tomorrow, because... What not? So, yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Yesterday, I spent the day at the beach. I'm just saying, walls in New York City need to be soundproof because this is unacceptable. Yesterday I spent the day at the beach, which was a pretty, pretty good day. I didn't plan to go starting my day off. I just planned to get up, go do my laundry, like run some personal errands and then just chill inside for the rest of the day. However, going to the beach was an offer that was made later on in the day and I accepted because I got some cute new bathing suits that I have not worn yet and were neck deep into the summer and I just feel like I need to wear them now before I no longer have an opportunity to wear these. And so I was struggling for a while trying to figure out which one I wanted to wear. I ended up mixing one bottom with like a different top that I had prior and it worked out well. The beach day was good, but I literally did not go into the water when I went to the beach. I literally sat on the sand, laid on the sand on a beach towel and I slept and I tanned. However, I didn't have any sunscreen or anything, so that was obviously not good for my skin. And I'm really hoping that this does not affect us going forward because my skin and I, my skin and I, we don't have the best relationship. And I'm already breaking out in hives from eczema because she don't like me. And you know, we have a love-hate relationship. 
but the BCA was pretty good yesterday. I felt so beat out when I left, however. I had to come home and like sleep for a little bit because I was genuinely so, so tired. And I feel like that typically happens when you spend the day at the beach. You feel so beat out and so tired. It just takes up all your energy. And the fact that the sun was so hot too did not help at all. I was sleeping and I was like sweating underneath my neck. But then I was so tired. I was just enjoying the sleep on the beach with like my beach hat covering my face. I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see. And I just slept for a hot ass minute on the hot ass sand. It wasn't too hot to be completely honest. And that was amazing for me. And I personally feel like next day off I need to be on somebody's beach again because the beach loves me and I love the beach and we just need to do that more often. It's crazy because when I was back in Jamaica, I used to go to the beach so often. I would literally take a taxi and go to the beach because I genuinely enjoy the beach so much. The beach is here a little bit different, a lot of it different. Hi y'all, it is currently Sunday morning and I'm kind of ready for work, but not really. Earlier it was raining outside and y'all know how I get when it rains. Okay, so now it's not currently raining anymore, which is absolutely amazing. So like, I need to bounce like these up so that I'm not caught in the rain. So I'm gonna just put a few fragrance on here. And I'm wearing my Dossier fragrances because those are the ones that I typically wear to work. I'm out of like, at this point, three. And I've bought them since April. So I've had them for three months, but I really be going through them, okay? Because when they are cheaper and I just be going through them. So I need to get some more. I have some in my cart, but I just have not been able to justify spending $140, even though I don't have to buy that many. But I want to. So there's that. Last night, I was supposed to work a double at work, and upon like getting ready to leave, I went downstairs and checked the schedule, because the supervisor told me that... I went downstairs and checked the schedule because the supervisor told me that she was going to put me on a floor. However, when I went down there, I didn't see my name on the floor. And I went to like two places where the schedules are normally posted and I didn't see my name and I just decided to come home. Honestly speaking, I was really, really tired and I'm just like, yeah, maybe this is a sign that I should just go home. And like, I came home and like slept and then when I woke up, I woke up to missed calls from the supervisor's office calling me saying that the lady said I was supposed to stay, which... She did say I was supposed to stay and she did say she scheduled me, but when I went down there and I didn't see my name, I'm just like, maybe she was joking. I don't know why that is what I thought, but I left anyways and I feel bad. So maybe today I'll end up staying. I'm not really sure. That is if they indeed need somebody and depending on the floor that they need somebody on because honestly, I don't know. Okay, I'm not trying to go on like a harder floor to be there doing so much work when I've been there all day, stressed out and tired and whatever. Even though it is said that that shift is supposed to be a little bit more relaxed, but you just never know what you're getting. And yesterday I was saying it, I feel like I'd honestly prefer to come in on a day off as opposed to doing this. But I've also seen so many other people doing the evening shift. So it's like, can it really be that hard? And I've done it twi uh, three times before. The first time that I did it, we had a snowstorm. So it wasn't as bad because most of the people were already in their rooms anyways. The second time that I did it... The second and third time were like two days behind each other. Those two days, um, I was on the same floor, which had less residents. So I've had, I haven't had like the full experience of like what it's like on a full shift or whatever. And I'm kind of all over the place. And I feel like I'm mainly like that because I didn't do my orientation for like the evening shift. So I really don't know how exactly it is that you do it. Even though I've asked a couple of people and they've told me, but like, I just don't know. And I feel like uncertainty is one of my biggest issues. Like, Uncertainty is what gives me the biggest anxiety attacks like not knowing and so because of that I'm so afraid to put myself in a situation like that which chances are when I tried it's not gonna be that bad and I'm just Doing too much in my head. However, I'm ready. I have a few things that I could eat today and I just need to put my shoes on and Pretty much get ready to leave but um, yeah, I wanted to pop in and oh, it's cool inside here. Literally, I gotta go.